No, it's not the title of the latest primetime crime drama. CSI KC is very real. And those in the legal trenches say you can blame those popular crime shows for the so-called CSI effect. An effect they now adjust for to make sure the justice system is, well, to borrow from another TV slogan, fair and balanced. When it comes to fighting crime, it's a CSI law and order bones by the world. And we have our victim. Hot crime scene specialists using cutting-edge forensic science to get the bad guys. The skull is badly damaged. Everybody wants to imagine that that sexy 20-some-year-old woman you know, fighting for them on their side. <laughs> In our not-so-reality TV world, solving crime doesn't fit so neatly into a 58-minute primetime slot, minus commercials, of course. I think the suicide effect, I, I've seen it, uh, has had an impact on the juries that we have here in Jackson County. But Judge Robert Cheever says that reality doesn't keep jurors from expecting that art will imitate life. I think they do have an unreasonable expectation on the foods of heaven. I think that they have kind of spoiled almost by these shows that are on TV, the CSI shows. Um, and I think uh, that they are expecting evidence from the prosecution that just maybe not, not even be there. This beyond a reasonable doubt does not require scientific or forensic evidence. You were told that O.J. Simpson had left on a... Prosecutor Don Parsons traces its early beginnings to O.J. on trial. DNA and blood spatter and hair fibers go in mainstream. Today's primetime TV is magnified. The TV shows, because they're cool, and they make everything seem so neat that you can just pick up a speck of dust or dirt or glass, and you're going to have the VIN number on it and all these people's DNA, and they put it in a computer, and 10 seconds later, you know who the defendant is. I think it's kind of a misnomer, to be honest with you. No surprise, longtime public defender Molly Hastings takes a much different view of this crime drama dilemma. You cannot peel the retina off a victim and see the reflection of the suspect. That is an unrealistic expectation. It is not unrealistic, though, to want DNA results. It is not unrealistic to expect fingerprints to be compared once they've been collected. I think that people are wanting to be convinced before they convict someone. Obviously, everybody recognizes that crimes are solved in an hour. Obviously, the CSI effect isn't just CSI KC. A chemist at the Midwest Research Institute, Evan Journal is also a criminal justice grad student at the University of Central Missouri. Ever just audibly shout at the TV, hey, you can't do that. Yes, definitely. Journal set out to research the prime time effect, drawing on studies around the country. His paper, published in Forensic Science International and recently quoted worldwide in The Economist, found crime scene myths and misunderstandings and elevated juror expectations. One Michigan survey journal quotes found more than a quarter of test jurors would not convict in a rape or murder case without some type of scientific evidence. Journal also learned the bad guys may even benefit from the CSI effect. There's such a flood of information saying if there's blood or if there's hair or if there's skin cells, we can, we can find you that criminals are taking more and more means to avoid leaving those skin cells, avoid leaving those body fluids. Indeed, Paul, that instruction, and I appreciate that. More and more in the courtroom, lawyers must now account for the effect. Right off the bat, questioning potential jurors. Is there anyone here who expects that a case will be investigated just like it is on television? Is there anyone here that will require DNA in every case? I think that people secretly hope that we're going to have all of that cool stuff. Um, I ask people in jury selection if they think the Kansas City, Missouri Police Department, CSI, unit drives around in Hummers, because that's what they do in CSI Miami. That's physically irresponsible. They don't. Prosecutor Parsons may also find herself putting on extra witnesses to explain why there isn't DNA or no fibers. If not, advantage defense. In my opinion, if they are charged with that burden of trying to prove their case, then if they have faults with their physical evidence or gaps in what they're able to present, that really lies on the state to explain why they're unable to do so. In the end, the issue isn't really whether there is a CSI effect or not. It's more whether 12 men and women can come into this room, sit down, set it aside, and reach a fair and just verdict. But I think in the final analysis, um, they, the jury do a good job um, listening to the evidence, 
follow the instructions with a cord and come to the right book. Even if it means forgetting the glitz and glamour of prime time crime. You can still enjoy them. Obviously, they're great shows. They're, they are based in, in, in good science, but don't, um, don't get too caught up in the fact that they're going to be able to solve every crime every time. Prosecutor Don Parsons does see one benefit for her side. At least in the crime dramas, the good guys usually get the bad guys, even if it only takes an hour.